Hello and welcome to exercise sheet 2. I'm really glad you're here and watching. Um, first of all, I want to give you a book recommendation. There's a book by Mild Mildred Dresselhaus which is called Group Theory. It's really worth a read, although the notation is sometimes a bit awkward. My email address again is uh, tgumsch at student.ethz.ch. You can email me anytime and I will answer your questions. You can email me even if you have any suggestions or critique concerning the videos. I'm always open for new ideas. Please, please write me an email. I will be glad to hear from you. So this is a quick overview of exercise sheet 2. Uh, it consists of 8 exercises. I only did 7 videos because I contained exercise 4 and exercise 2 in one, one video. Um, this is kind of an introduction how to come up with proofs. Uh, I, give you, I give you the possibility to stop uh, and pause and think about my questions right here. This is a how to how to construct proofs, how to construct simple proofs. Cayley theorem is a simple proof too, but I will uh, go through that. This, this is a quick video, and it basically burns uh, boils down to having a homomorphism, and you want to show that this is actually a homomorphism. Another very simple proof is uh, exercise 7. Actually this is a little too simple, therefore I introduced a little more a lemma which is a little more complicated and introduced characters as roots of uh, the unity. So this is really interesting and you use that result from exercise 7 in exercise number 6 where you look at three elements groups in general and the representation of three element groups and then you want to uh, will construct the character table of any cyclic group as a result. This is really interesting and I recommend you to watch it. Then you also have exercise 5 which is uh, the consideration of a general two elements group when you want to construct the most general 2D representation. This is a little bit like exercise 6F from the last exercise sheet where you construct matrices as, mo as general as possible. Exercise 3 is the most important exercise in this sheet and ev everything basically evolves around that. You have character tables and decomposition of reducible representations in that and I go thorough on that but not very slow so it's, it's easy to watch, it's not, it's not longer than 10 minutes and you really learn a lot of from that video. Also there's uh, ta the tower representation explained and you, you you should watch that actually. Exercise 8, we're uh, going down again on C4V, which you thoroughly discussed in class and you want to find a 3D representation. And this is basically nothing else than writing down the results you know from the lecture. It's of course interesting to watch, but if you want to skip one exercise, this should should be the first one. So this is it, this is exercise sheet 2. Again, if you have any suggestions, please email me. I will be glad answering you. And I hope you enjoy it. See you next time.